Hello everyone, my name is Jose Lizardo, and in this video we're going to see how we can use Max's native sun positioner to do some exterior lighting using Arnold. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in and create our sun positioner. This is a three click creation process. So the first click creates the compass, the second click you orient the sun, and the third click you create the sun distance. Now what's really nice about the sun positioner is that it's render agnostic. So you can use it in Arnold, but if you want to use it with any other render engine, you can do that as well. And also, unlike uh, the old daylight system, which this basically replaces that workflow, the daylight system you had to go ahead and punch in and how you know, the things you controlled on it were sort of spread all over the software. The sun positioner is very much more streamlined. So when you create it, everything in the background, the environments are added for you automatically. And everything that you find in the command panel is just to control things like the time of day, day of year, and position on Earth. That is all you control in uh, the actual modified panel. So let's go ahead and make those modifications. We can go ahead and launch our render up so we see those changes taking place. So if I go to the command panel, you see I can go ahead and change my position on Earth from uh, Montreal to San Francisco or Baltimore in this case here. We can change time of day. And it's the other really nice thing about using this particular workflow versus what I showed in a different video, which is the physical sky from Arnold. These are much more intuitive controls uh, that are much more natural to people. It's very much more easy to, uh, to control the time of day than it is to control elevation and azimuth. If that's your thing, that's fine too. But for me, I have an easier time understanding conceptually time of day, uh, day of year, and a position on Earth. Uh, so we can go ahead and dial in the exact moment of time that we want uh, to be in. Uh, you see that in the environment panel, it created things automatically, uh, such as the environment map and the physical exposure control. I didn't have to add those, which was the case with the daylight system of the past. Um, and we can take this shader, for example, bring it into our slate editor, and this is where you modify all of your lighting information, all of your sunlight and your skylight. Everything is handled here. So we have a global spinner that basically um, adjusts the lighting intensity for both your sun and your sky, and then you have actual um, control for those individual components, so your, your sun intensity and your sky intensity, so we can go ahead and modify those individually. And you have also artistic control here, so you can go ahead and make some, some, some differences and some changes here to your tint, for example, and even your saturation if you wanted to. Um, but so really nice shader, and this is a really great way also, for example, if you wanted to do a daylight study, all you need to do is turn on your, your auto key, go to the last frame, punch in a specific moment in time, and then go to your first frame, and then basically scrub it down, and you have that daylighting analysis happening. A couple of shots here that were rendered out using this scene. So really nice and really easy to use uh, shader. This is the one I particularly recommend the most. Thank you for watching.